to end season two here in Precision Outdoors, we decided to kind of do a little highlight episode, uh, showing you we had a lot of a lot of successful hunts this year, and uh, we wanted to do a little put a little video together to kind of show you all the hunts in one, and just in case you missed any during the during the season, so. Uh, Watch it and see what you think. Definitely a lot of happy hunters. Took a lot of youth hunters this year and had a lot of great success. Well, we went in blind on a really, really nice old mature buck. Um, we knew kind of where he was, but we didn't know exactly what clump of trees he was in just so happened the first clump we come to was the one he was in and he's seen us before we seen him but he was in a good spot too it's too bad but um he didn't spook too bad he went to the next bigger clump of trees so hopefully he stops there uh, we're just gonna give him a little time to settle down and try to locate him again maybe get back in on him so definitely a big big mature buck really really nice so keep our fingers crossed just kind of hang out let him relax and, and get back on him. We were actually fortunate enough to find a really good group of deer right by Blake's house. So about an hour before dark, uh, I noticed a, a deer coming off to my right hand side and directly downwind and when I had the ozonics going and that deer never smelt me. So as I got the camera set up, he came through the trees and there he was, the big eight.
Smoked them, dropped them. Keep you just keep watching. Just keep watching. Just keep keep your eye right there. Got him, baby. That's what you call a big deer, bud. <laughs> oh my god. Sure, right there. He's got six inch brow tine, five inch brow tine. He's got nine inch twos and threes. Oh my god. <laughs> Well, we just shot this nice buck here at K&K Outfitters. I'd like to thank Wes here for helping me with all this and uh, Keaton here for K&K Outfitters for letting me come here and my mom and dad for bringing me to come do this hunt. All right, so we're here on the second night of the Wisconsin youth hunt. And last night I missed a pretty good sized buck, but I'm here to redeem myself and I shot a nice doe. Yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah, baby. That's a bigger one of all three of them. Te text mom BBD. <laughs> the deer was hitting another scrape again. So what I did is I grabbed my grunt tube, got aggressive, I grunted. And right away, the buck grunted back at me. So that told me, you know, obviously he was somewhat interested. And I couldn't see him at this point. So I grunted and I snort wheezed again and just sat there. And I don't know what, how much time went by, probably two, three minutes. 
I could hear that deer make a noise kind of circling and the deer had circled back around and I was kind of caught in the wide open but very lucky that there was a down tree the deer could have came anywhere and probably busted us but where he came happened to be probably the perfect spot so I went to full draw and right when the deer had just come into the opening his nose had just touched the opening he stopped and he he was locked on me but I had an opening about you know probably that big through the trees where I could see his vitals just perfect so you know I asked Charlie on the camera I said do you got him he's like I think I do and I was to the point where I had never shot a deer on the ground before it, in my opinion it's kind of the ultimate thing you can do big game hunting is kill a mature whitetail on the ground with a bow i mean they are probably they are the smartest animal i've hunted a lot and i had different animals and they are by far the smartest and so i was going to shoot the deer regardless luckily charlie did his job and he had it on film made a perfect shot at 15 to 20 yards deer ran 50 yards and and he tipped over That was the coolest thing I've ever done. There he is. Oh, look at the mass on that deer. Oh, dude. That is a tank of an eight pointer. That is a tank. You are done, buddy. You don't know how much I know this deer. Been hunting that deer for about four years. He was a 10 pointer last year. Well folks, I wish I had a little more B-roll for you, but I don't. We literally landed in Albuquerque, New Mexico uh, about two hours ago, yeah, three hours ago, and hauled, hauled our rear end to get here. Um, our good buddy Hadley, our guide for the week, found a giant bull yesterday and he thought we could kill him tonight. So instead of starting tomorrow, we activated the tag today and we got here. We got about, I don't know, probably a mile hike to get back in there and about 45 minutes till dark. So we're gonna cruise, try to cut the bull off and, and maybe get it done in, I guess not even night one, the day before night one. So stay with us, cause this is a bull of a lifetime if we can get in on him. So let's stay tuned. Yards, are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> what a giant! Are they? They're pushing it. Yeah, so. <laughs> that's a bull. Oh, that's a bull. That, that is a bull. Kill oh, a lot of bulls in this exact. Get my hands on them buggers all day long. Yeah, he's. Look at that. That's a bull of a lifetime. Thank you. 
700 yards. Just waiting for the buck to come to the opening, so we're getting already set up here. Yeah. Look at that bear. That's a big deer. Yeah. You might push me, babe. He might be bigger than what I shot last night. Close? Close to one I shot last night? See? Heavy. Heavy, yeah. You can shoot him. I mean, it's not gonna be the best video, but or another way. it's up to you. If you want to shoot him, shoot him. Then, yeah, shoot him. All right. This is your once in a lifetime buck. You shoot him. If he gets up, you can shoot him. Again. One more. Yeah. Where is he? Just to the right. Good. One more. Put another one in. All right. You guys ready? He's dead. We just want to thank everyone for watching Precision Outdoors this year. Be sure to keep up with us on social media during the off-season and see where, what we'll be up to next year and where you can follow us. Bye. Bye. <laughs> It'll work. Bye. <laughs>